The College Football Hall of Fame has inducted more than 900 gridiron greats since it opened in 1951. That number will grow when the newest class is announced by the National Football Foundation Thursday near Dallas. Among those whose names could likely be called, former Texas standout Ricky Williams. The Heisman winner had 12 200-yard rushing games during his career with the Longhorns. Before his Hall of Fame pro career, Eric Dickerson was an All-American running back at SMU and finished third in the Heisman voting in 1982 behind Herschel Walker and John Elway. Nebraska's Eric Crouch didn't play a single game in the NFL, but he was a fantastic college player who brought the Heisman Trophy back to Lincoln in 2001. No school has more college Hall of Famers than Notre Dame. Rocket Ishmael could be the next, while a member of the Irish he graced the cover of Sports Illustrated not once, but twice. Also among the possible inductees, a couple of Miami Hurricanes, including former All-American Warren Sapp, who won the Lombardi and Nagurski trophies in 1994. College teammate Ray Lewis has to be a shoe-in to get in the College Hall of Fame. He had 81 tackles in just five games his freshman year, and the rest, as they say, is history. And it appears the late Derek Thomas will finally get in some 15 years after his death. That according to reports online on Wednesday, a standout at Alabama. He was recognized by many as the FBS single season sack leader, recording 27 sacks during the 1988 season. Also among the list of candidates for induction, LaDainian Tomlinson, Tim Couch, Keyshawn Johnson, and the boss, Brian Bosworth. A total of 14 players and two coaches will be a part of this year's class, and we'll break it all down for you following Thursday's announcement right here on Campus Insiders dot com.